You want to keep your eye on the Red River the rest of the weekend into the weekend as it's expected to crest around 30 to 31 feet at the end of this week. We're already seeing the flooding throughout the metro in the valley today. Abby Furchner is getting a live look this morning and she joins us live with Moorhead with it is quite a sight out there, Abby, that those yeah. water levels have really gone up. Yeah, good morning, Jordan. I'm right outside of the Moorhead Mall ramp, parking ramp, and I know this is a pretty common area where we see that spring flooding, but once again, the tides have definitely risen. The river is at about uh, our highest mark we had yesterday was 28 feet, and it's going to continue to rise. I know Lisa Green's saying, you know, we're going to get some per uh, precipitation and a winter storm coming, and that will definitely make it uh, continue to rise. But I am about 5'7", and an average stop sign is about 7 feet feet. So in comparison to me, this is how tall a stop sign is. And I want to show you this stop sign over here. It might be a little hard to see. It's just diagonal to uh, this red uh, post that you see. That is a stop sign and it is almost completely submerged underwater. So if I were to be standing out there, you wouldn't be able to see me. We're here on Third Street North and this entire road has been blocked off. But I mean, just simply stepping into this flooding water and already my feet are pretty much you can't see them just stepping in into you know the openings of these air areas so you're going to want to be really careful when you are around this area but that's why you know a lot of those streets are uh blocked off i know we're seeing even more road closures throughout the day and as, as this uh red river continues to rise and jordan i know you even said earlier that you've already experienced some water coming and leaking through your basement so for those that live near the red river you're going to want to make sure you have precautions and measures put into place uh, to make sure that your home doesn't flood this year yeah no i'm just about uh, two to three blocks away from the the Red River and woke up and there was mm. the water. So that's what a lot of people can expect. Uh, I know. Yeah, not great, yeah, but we'll get through it. Definitely. Abby Furchner reporting live this morning. Thank you very much.